crew, happy Friday. Uh, this is Paul, Dr. Nacho, doing one of my favorite things, talking about dentist, dentisting connections, how we can put medium-aged dentist, stands for mad, that's me and my guest today, medium-aged dentist in touch, actually, my guest may be younger than that, I don't wanna, I don't wanna I'll ask you in a minute, together with baby-aged dentist or uh, CADS, child-aged dentist for jobs. So I'm thrilled to have Dr. Jonathan Thies from the Harrisburg PA area. He's a multi-practice owner. He's gonna tell you about what he has to offer. They have a job opening coming up. So welcome, Dr. Jonathan. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do in this uh, dentisting world. Hey man, how's it going? Uh, well, I mean, I, I'm a Temple grad, uh, graduated in 2009, and uh, uh, I was out of school for about uh, like four or five years there. And before I started my own uh, practice with uh, my good friend, uh, Dr. Amish Patel, a uh, practice called Legendary Smiles in Havertown. And uh, after a few years, I uh, was able to build that up real big. Uh, well, not real big, but, uh, but we, got, we hit her about 700,000. Uh, we joined all of our practices together. And, uh, you know, I, I, started to, I started to take over more of the operations. Um, so I, I replaced myself with an associate. I have my brother working as well. And uh, so I've been basically running the operations of, of our, uh, we have seven offices in PA. And uh, the one we're talking about today is uh, one of our older, well-established practices uh, in Harrisburg. Awesome. So you got seven offices. You're doing the stuff that I like. Dennis working together, being part of a team, uh, figuring out this, how to run sur uh, circuses, I mean, practices together, um, which is awesome. And you did say you graduated in 2009, so you are 10 years out. So you do fit the medium age dentist criteria of a MAD. So baby age dentist, zero to two, child age dentist, two to five, uh, toddler age dentist, two to five. I have, a, I have a, a 11 month old and a five year old in my house, uh, small humans. Um, and then a medium age dentist is 10 to 25 years out. I was giving a course, uh, Jonathan, you know, I like to see and the dentist raised their hand. They said, I'm uh, 30 years out. I want a classification for me. And I always do communication stuff. So I check a hygiene patient and I say to a patient who's like in their 60s, I go, your teeth, they're very experienced and seasoned. They go, does that mean old? And I said, you know, you said it, I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, so seasoned age dentist is sad. So we got 10 to 25 years as medium age. So we, we do that. Um, now tell us, you're, you have a practice out there. I, I One of my um, catchphrases, you know, more ops, less problems. You know, so how many ops do you guys have out there? Uh, so we have eight ops actually. 3,500 square feet. And there's a big dentisting uh, center there. I like that. And tell our Nacho audience and Ariel's here with us. She can answer some questions, how to connect you to Jonathan as he shares this position. Tell us um, why you guys are looking for an associate. Why do you need an extra dentist in this space? Sure, absolutely. So um, the practice has really been growing uh, in the last six months. Actually, we've been using uh, Jamie DeBeast in day one oh, marketing. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Thank and, you. Yeah, he's been doing a great job. And uh, so, you know, we're starting to hit like 40 to 50 patients, uh, new patients a month. That's and, awesome. you know, at this time, we only have one dentist in there. And we've really loaded up her schedule. And, uh, you know, she, she's actually starting to look uh, to spend more time with her family. And she actually is looking to reduce her time to about three days a week. And, you know, I always want my, I always want happy dentists. I want, you know, happy dentists are productive dentists. And, and, you know, of course, that's a great reason to want to reduce your time is to spend time with family. And I want to, uh, I want to make her wishes, you know, uh, 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 true. So, um, you know, I think it's a perfect time right now to bring on a new associate because, you know, we're getting the new patients every month. So, so the, the practice is healthy in that respect and it's growing. Um, and also we're going to be able to start that, that person off with two days um, of hygiene on their own. Uh, as well as sharing the the two uh, one of the two hygienists the other three days. So um, there's a yeah there's a propensity to build. The Ariel will share. I do this associate combo pack webinar. You can put that in the comments where I teach associates how to, what to ask on an interview. Like you know dentists never do networking, so they go on these weird dates with an owner dentist, an associate dentist. Your experience now, but maybe when you were out of school, you were thinking you know everyone has. I, I like to believe they have good intentions. They just don't always know why they need an associate. An associate doesn't know what to ask. So I always say start with the why, like the Simon Sinek book. So that's a good why. 
because you have a dentist working there who's going to reduce hours. And then as we were talking to prepare for this, you said that it looks like there's a lot of growth in this practice and area. Tell us a little bit about the growth potential. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, not only are we getting, you know, great results from our marketing, um, and we have the room in that uh, practice with the eight ops uh, to add another dentist. Um, but we also have uh, something else coming in the pipeline towards the end of the summer. Uh, it's actually a, a new type of insurance that we, uh, we actually have first right to. Uh, we invested in early. And so basically when this insurance goes live and we start to see these patients, we're going to be the only show in town uh, uh, to see those patients. And uh, the really cool thing about this insurance is, is that we actually use our UCR fees. Um, oh, which, is, which is so much better than any other type of insurance. Um, and it's a really unique way. I won't get into all the details of how they pull this off. But what's really cool is these patients that, you know, this new dentist and our current dentist will be seeing, um, you know, they're going to be getting paid full fee. Um, you know, it's going to be just like seeing cash patients. So we're really super excited about it. And they actually asked us if we could take on, you know, thousands of patients. And, you know, we told them, well, we'll, we'll get it figured out. The first thing I need to do is make sure I have another dentist in there, uh, depending on what that, you know, initial load of patients is going to be. I need to have someone in there that's ready to take them on. So, um, so we're primed and ready to grow. And uh, this position is, uh, you know, is, is a great opportunity for anyone that's interested. That's awesome. And as people, you know, I like to think like my wife, Jonathan, no one ever gets tired of hearing Paul Goodman or Dr. Nacho talk. But, uh, you know, I'll ask you a couple times throughout this, what's the best way for someone to contact you if they're interested in this position? To send a resume, to reach out, how should they contact you? Absolutely. So there's two emails you could send to. Probably the best one is um, Dr. Thies, and that's D-R, T is in Tom, H, E, I, S is in Sam. So that's Dr. Thies at Capstone. And it's DG like dental group. So it's capstonedg.com. And that's my Dr. official email. Dr. Keith and Captain Ariel will put that in the comments. So this sounds good. So the why is good. There's growth potential. Now, uh, I'm a new, let's get down wearing my new dentist boost camp shirt. We'll have our fourth one coming up uh, in the summer. Ariel will share that uh, live stream link too with the group. But let's say I'm a new, newish dentist and I say, all right, sounds good, but what am I gonna be doing when I'm at this job? What procedure? Tell me about a general day in the life of uh, an associate at this office. Uh, well, I mean, this is your bread and butter family dentistry uh, type office. Um, you know, but we've been doing, we actually, there's a great interest out there in Invisalign as well. Um, so I know that, uh, you know, besides the normal crown and bridge and bread and butter and family dentistry, uh, you know, all the basics are definitely there. Um, I believe the age range is between 40s and 50s, the majorities of the patients. Um, but when we had an Invisalign day out there, we actually had, uh, we actually closed 11 cases in one day. So there was, so there was a lot of interest uh, when it came to Invisalign. I actually used to do Botox out there too. And uh, that was, uh, was very, very, very popular. I would go and see 20 to 25 patients a day on Fridays. Um, so not only is there the bread and butter there, but there's definitely interest in cosmetics um, and, and, you know, uh, also in implants as well. I know Dr. O, our chief dental officer, goes out there once a month and does implants, uh, all on four, all on six cases, things like that, um, which also creates a great learning opportunity for any associate that joins a practice uh, because he's always willing to learn uh, or willing to teach and, uh, and show our dentists um, how to do these more complex surgical procedures. I mean, that, that's true. Also, everything that I love is a bigger, stronger dentist, uh, uh, an older dentist, more exhausted dentist. No, it's like me. Um, you know, there, teaching someone younger, like a lot of times or newer, this is how this stuff works. And I think a lot of younger and newer dentists, and you know, Jonathan, they think it's a lot about learning stuff clinically, which it can be, having someone like Dr. O show them how to place implants or, or connect components to restore a case. But the magic of those experiences, because we have four associates, and when I'm there shoulder to shoulder with them, it's really about sharing patient management tips, or, hey, this is normal, or I know, you know, my patient said this tooth is sensitive, is that normal? And I just wish there was more of that out there, because our training is, you know, you go to dental school, and you have to have everything checked off. Some people do residencies, I teach a residency, and a residency is in the middle, 
where you have a resource to ask, but then you go out on your own and it's not easy. You know, you're in an office and you're thinking, oh, yeah. is this normal? So I think that that's awesome. Uh, now, I'm a youngish dentist. Uh, I think this sounds great. I love the mentorship. I love the growth. Uh, I can figure out where to live, you know, near Harrisburg or commute there. But I got a lot of loans, Jonathan. What type of salary range could I expect? You know, what's small for this position if I'm working there full time? I mean, there is no reason why a new grad shouldn't be able to come out and do at least between 130 and 150 right out the gate. So, um, and you know, all part of our mentoring is to get you even to that next level as quick as possible. And uh, I come out there once a month for growth meetings. And, uh, you know, I'm always more than happy to sit chair side with, uh, with our associates, go over treatment planning to ensure that uh, they get off on the right foot um, and know how to maximize their time at the office. Yeah, and, and I, I love that. And one of the things I'd like to share, just that, you know, if you put me in this office to work, I wouldn't be able to earn the money I could at my office because I don't know the patients. And what happens is, you know, you really have to put in that time with your patients to develop relationships. But once you do that, it can be just so amazing how much growth you can have when the patients start to trust you. And I find this, and you were in the same world too, when you acquire a practice, you could have been a dentist for five years or 25 years. You have to start off slowish and getting to know people. But then when you have resources with like, you guys have might have this amazing insurance plan coming and you do marketing with Jamie, and you have Simon teaching them, that's really just an ideal environment to be able to do the type of right that you want to do. So I think that is uh, awesome. One more thing I want to ask you, Jonathan, you guys have a, a little group chat for the office and what did you name it? So, yeah, so, you know, all we try to make it like a big family and all of our dentists, we all are on a big group chat where we share cases and bounce ideas off each other. So, you know, so you don't feel like a, you're out on an island when you're at your office, you know, you always have that support. And, uh, you know, we took a little bit from you there. We called it uh, Dental Tacos. I love it. Dental Tacos. Not just right back here. I, I love that theme. I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, I've not been on a, like a few podcasts, like a hundred, but, you know, people ask me what happened, how did I get the dental nachos topping? And I, you know, the nachos name, and I really love Mexican food. I worked in Mexican restaurants. I did different jobs. You know, I thought of myself like different toppings, speaker, broker, dentist, but I didn't realize, I mean, I kind of, Mexican food is like the most beloved food, you know? It's like everybody, you know, makes them happy. So I love when you pick a happy name like that. And I'm like, <laughs> she likes tacos just as much as nachos, and, I, and I'm the same way too. So I really appreciate you sharing with us here, Jonathan. Uh, tell us again how to reach out to you if we want to, uh, uh, someone wants to apply for the job. And actually, is there any websites that we can put in the comments as well? Uh, yeah. So actually, if you want to check out our website uh, for that particular office, it's harrisburgsmile.com so that's the website and again if you want to reach me via email it's dr thies and that's d-r-t-h-e-i-s at capstone dg for dental group.com awesome that's perfect and you can always reach out to us at dr nacho at dental nachos.com or ariel at dental nachos.com but I really appreciate your time, Jonathan. I love what you guys are doing. I met Simon personally. He's an awesome guy. Uh, I think, you know, what you're bringing, bringing dentists together is everything we stand for. I think we need more of this, and there just is not really a way to get the word out, you know, in, in a quick manner when there's a job opening. A lot of GPRs are finishing up, a lot of dental schools to so reach out to, to you guys. If we can help you, let me know. But uh, thanks so much for your time today, and I hope we get to meet face-to-face -face soon. you got to come to Philly to one of our courses. Absolutely. I think September 28th, 29th, correct? Yeah. yeah. It's Jason Smithson. So yeah, that's, that, that's going to be an amazing time. Uh, yeah. I'm actually, I'm going to see if I can bring my brother. Uh, so you'll have double trouble, man. Nice. I like that. I got, I got a younger brother too. That make you all the hard work. That's what I'm going to Yeah. That's exactly what I got him doing. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, and, and if I can just comment on this about my, I know this is my event and I know, I, I mean, I've done this for years, well before dental nachos, but this is the reason to come to events like this. Not only do you get to learn about high level cosmetic dentistry and bonding from Jason Smithson, but you know, a lot of the great stuff happens outside of the class. You know, we have social events and you meet people like you and you meet other people. And I just love that dentist bonding experience, pun intended. So uh, <laughs> 
I appreciate you guys uh, uh, supporting us and look forward to seeing then. So thanks for hopping on with us at Dental Nachos. Dental Nachos crew, enjoy your Friday. I hope there's a margarita in your future. There is an Ariel, so I'll uh, see you guys later. Mm -hmm.